Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. So if you remember a few months ago, I did a video where I went zero to 60 in my Mach-E base model. That's the rear wheel drive standard battery pack. On your mark, get set, go. Sixty. I'm not sure if it was in that video or some other video around that time, but somebody asked me to do a video where I let my car get down to uh, 30 percent, which right now I'm at 35 percent. So I'm gonna have to do a little extra driving here to get to 30 percent. So they basically just want to know if the car zero to 60 time will be the same when my battery is at 30% as it was with my battery at 80 or 90% wherever it was during that video. I still have that same car scanner app. We're going to go back to the same desolate county road and we're going to test that. So let me get a few more percentage points rolled off this battery here and uh, we'll go POV and do some 0 to 60. I'm stopped just in the middle of the road. Oh, there's a car behind me coming. And uh, going zero, we're at 31%. Mark, get set, go. So we're gonna get up to, there's 60. And we did not get as much power. So it looks like it maxed out at 189 kW. Why is there a car out here in the middle of nowhere? I'm going to pull over here and let it go by. From what I saw on that first run, we did not get the same power output. So let's uh, flip this over to um, acceleration test. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. We're exactly 30% right here. And there's 60. All right, I won't put it in the video, but I went a bit beyond 60 just to see what the other times were and used 2% of my battery during that. You can see uh, zero to 20 is almost two seconds, zero to 40 is four seconds, zero to 60 is 6.925. So almost seven second zero to 60 with the battery at 30%. This is a pretty useful screen here. So on the top, of course, it shows you speed. And then you got torque, the output of the motor or battery actually. So right now with the air conditioner running and the fans and everything, it's 1.47. The high voltage battery voltage <laughs> and the minimum cell voltage. So let's go ahead and pull out here on the road and we'll do another zero to 60 run. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. You can see the curves start to go down with the more speed we get. All right, go. Foot is just pinned to the floor. Now that felt faster. We'll just do one more pull just for fun. Now that we're at 27%. We'll stop here, just stop dead in the road. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Let's see how many KWs we pull. Still maxing out in the upper 180s. Full regen is about 80 KW. So I hope this answered your question on if the Mustang is any slower at lower states of charge. The answer is yes, but not much. It was, it was four tenths of a second. 
I think I was getting 210 kW whenever I was uh, 80, 90 percent, and I think here at 30 percent it was giving me 180, upper mid 180s as a peak power output. So not that much difference, just a little bit. I hope I was able to answer your question with today's video. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And if you want to talk to me about it in the comments, come on down. I like talking in the comments. I try to answer most of them. Charger distance critical. Uh-oh. Nearest charger is near the edge of your range. Oh, no. <laughs> but thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next episode.